Question 3 says a horizontal force of 150 newtons is used to push a 41 kilogram packing crate a distance of 6.45 meters on a rough horizontal surface. If the crate moves at constant speed, find each of the following. A. The work done by the 150 newton force and B. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the surface. So here's the key. So we know that the force that is exerted, we'll call it F of x1, equals 150 newtons. We know that the mass of the crate is, one, is 41 kilograms. We know that the distance is that it's moved is 6.45 meters. And so we, we want to solve for work first. So work equals force times distance and so that would be 150 times 6.45 and that equals 967.5 joules. The second thing we want to solve for is the coefficient of kinetic friction and so let's go ahead and solve for it algebraically first and then look for another context clue in the, in the uh, wording of the problem to see if it will help us completely solve for it. So we're, we know that the friction, uh, the uh, force of kinetic friction equals the um, friction con uh, kinetic friction constant times the normal force. And so um, whenever we draw our free body diagram, we have this, we'll call this F of x2, and then we, we'll call our 150 newton force F of x1. And so we know that f of x1 minus f of x2 equals our net force. Our net force. And so um, we know that our net force equals our mass times our acceleration. And so we know the mass. But do we have anything in context to tell us the acceleration? The second sentence says, if the crate moves at constant speed. So at constant speed, that means that V final minus V initial, if it's constant, say if that was 5 kilometers per hour, and it's still 5 kilometers per hour there. So V final minus V initial equals 0. So 0 over T. Uh, so the change in velocity over time is acceleration. So 0 over t means that our, our a is 0. So the net force equals mass times 0. So the, the net force is 0. So equals 0. So we know that f of x1 minus f of x2 equals 0, which means f of x1 equals f of x2. So that once they once they start pushing and they maybe for the first split second, the force that they're pushing with is greater than friction, but as they continue to go faster, um, perhaps the the or they get onto a rougher surface, whatever happens, the net for the the total friction increases, or perhaps they uh, for the for a split second they start pushing with. A larger force, and then right as it starts moving, they slow it down to the the net 150. Whatever the case may be, they are going at a constant velocity, so the force of friction and the force of uh, forward pushing have to be equal. So we know that the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force equals um, equals 150 newtons because that was the force that was being pushed with. And so the normal force, N equals, um, N equals the mass times acceleration, so mass times 9.8, 41, so 41 um, kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. And so we can say that the I, I need to draw this right. Let's see, mu k um, times 41 times 9.8 equals 150. And so now you can just solve 
for your coefficient of kinetic friction. And so that should equal, the coefficient of kinetic friction should equal 0 0.37332. And that's the second part of the answer.